Uh, if he's been good to you, can you shout hallelujah? Has it been good to you? Can you open your mouth and shout hallelujah? Hallelujah, if he's been good to you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel churchy. I don't know about you. Glory to God, but he's been good to me. He's been good to you. Hallelujah. We owe him a praise. If it's been good to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I bless him tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. You can exercise your lungs when you open your mouth. Hallelujah to God. Some oxygen can come in when you lift your arms. Hallelujah to God. Come on, lift your arms. Lift your hands up. Open your mouth. Get some energy. Let some oxygen flow. Hallelujah. Glory God. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My few minutes that I had to say something is up. Thank you, Jesus. But I thank you for coming tonight. Hallelujah to God. I just feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. God's going to do what he wants to do. Hallelujah to God. Somebody say, have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. Glory. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you. And we bless you. And we honor you. Thank you all for coming. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. We're going to ask Deacon Gregory if he get the tables for us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And as we're preparing to bring the tables out, and I'm going to start tonight out, Pastor. I'm going to help you out. Our goal on tonight is 3,000. Amen. So you can go and cut that down to 25 because I'm going to start with five. Amen. So I'm going to yield the flow to Pastor of Bethlehem Church of God in Christ. Amen. Receive him at this time. Amen. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. Come on, that'd be all right if it was for me. But if God's done anything for you, you ought to clap your hands like the devil is defeated. Come on, if God's been showing up good to you, you ought to open up your mouth and give him praise that you know he deserves this Wednesday evening. Come on, I dare somebody to make the devil real mad. Give him a black eye with your praise this Wednesday night. Open up your mouth and give God the glory you know he deserves. And we magnify the name of the Lord. And we magnify the name of the Lord. And we magnify the name of the Lord. Well, his kindness toward us. Because he's been so good to me. I don't know about nobody else, but my testimony is that God's been good to me. And when I look back over my life and I start to think things over, I can truly say if it had not been for the Lord, who was on my side, I would have been swallowed up by the enemy. But thanks be unto the God of my salvation, I'm still here, still standing. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus one more time. And we magnify the name of the Lord. What a joy it is to be with our brothers and sisters here at the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. Come on, make some noise for St. Stephen. This is truly family, and we are so glad to be here to fellowship with you all. We bring you greetings all the way from Chesapeake. Amen. <laughs> Bethlehem Church of God in Christ. Praise God. And we have come here to be a help, and uh, we are more than willing to do our best to reach the goal. I believe it's in the house. If you believe it, look at somebody and say it's in the house. Amen. Well, I'm going to hold you to it because you said it. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to call my finance team if they would come and 
St. Stephen's, if your finance team would come, we're going to get this in and out of the way because everybody agreed that it's here. So we're going to go ahead and raise this quickly, expeditiously. I'm going to start the offering with $300 on tonight. Amen. Elder Harvey sent $50. Missionary Ransom has $100 that she's sharing on tonight. Amen. Amen. We, we want to hear from around the table uh, at this time. If anyone has anything that they want to add. First Lady Edmonds is sharing $100 tonight. Amen. We thank God. Elder Hoggins walking in the door with money. Praise God. He's sharing $50 on tonight. It's in the house. Does anyone have anything to say around the table? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Edmonds. Hallelujah to God. And we are ready to bless the Lord and bless this church. Glory to God. And thank God for the opportunity to serve. When you get a chance to serve in the church, you ought to thank God that he's given you the opportunity to serve. And I thank God for the opportunity tonight. And uh, he has already mentioned our goal and want you to come on and give your offering. Amen. And if you don't have what you desire to have, but give what you have. Hallelujah to God. It's in the house and we are going to reach our goal. I believe the Lord. How many believe the Lord? All we need is some believers. If we can get the believers to connect tonight. Hallelujah to God. We can go far and beyond. At this time we have over here uh, the Bethlehem Church of God in Christ. Amen. They're starting out over here and over this side we have St. Stephen Church of God in Christ. Amen. We have our ushers on the floor tonight. Amen. Amen. We're standing all over the building. I'm going to pray for those seeds and I want you to bring them down. Get your best seed that you have in your hand tonight. And I pray, Father God, that you will bless both the seed and the sower. That you will look upon their seed and respond with great faith, great, great harvest in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're going to do for the people that are sowing into this great ministry on tonight. We believe you and we trust in you. We stand upon your word and your promises. In Jesus' name I pray. Everybody shout amen. 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 You follow the leading and of our ushers at this time. They I just want to thank you forever, forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. Oh, oh, you've done, you've done, for little old me, oh, blessings and glory, and glory, and honor, they are. Belong to, belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For bless. For bless. me. Hey, I just want to thank you. Thank you. Forever. Forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. For all you've done. For little old me. I give you praise, I give you glory. Oh, blessings and honor and glory. And glory. They all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's stay right there. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For making a way out of no way. For blessing my family. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 
for healing my body when I was sick. I got to tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You've been too good. If I had 10,000 times, I still can tell you thank you enough. Thank you, Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You've been mighty, mighty good, mighty, mighty good. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For blessing. For blessing me. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. You've been too good. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hey, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Say thank you. 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 Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Lord, I thank you. 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 For bless. Clap your hands for yourselves. Come on, look at somebody on room and say, I told you it was in the house. Amen. We thank God. Thank you for your liberal giving on tonight. God bless you. God bless you. I'm going to turn it back into the hands of Elder Davis at this time. All right. I'm going to read some names of those who made their reports on tonight. All right, from St. Stephen, though, who made the reports, Evangelist Bob Jean O's, uh, $75, Elder Wilson, $200, Elder Davis, $1,000, Dick and B.J. Hughes, $125, Missionary Tanika Ortiz, $125, Missionary Caressa Davis, $125, Missionary Gaynell Burton, $50, Missionary I mean, Mother Barbara Wilson, $100, Dickon Mitchell, Chairman Dickon Mitchell, 125. Sister Faye Gregory, $50. Mother Lillian Beaver, $100. Evangelist Kalita Rose, $75. Missionary Pamela Mitchell, $50. And 
uh, Mother Glenda Owens, $50. Deacon Gregory, $25. Uh, Sister Missionary Bernie O's, $25. And Sister Faye Gregory, $25. Thank you all who give it on tonight. Amen, amen. All right, we'll go ahead and bless it. And bless it. All right. Thank God. As I always often tell Dr. O's, God does not give a plan that he can't execute. And did you notice I was standing beside my brother and I whispered in the ear. And I told him I, I had his back. So he didn't have to worry. All he had to do would be ready to preach the words. So at this time, we're calling Elder Sims to introduce our speaker. And after that, we will have, we will hear from Bethlehem, Church of God in Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, can we give God a hand clap of praise? <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, we can do better than that. Amen. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Well, I'm here to introduce the speaker tonight, a man who's the husband of one wife, a man, one wife and he has three beautiful children, two sons and one daughter. He is the pastor of the Bethlehem Church of God in Christ in the city of Chesapeake, Virginia. <laughs> Amen. With all that being said, he is a man that loved the Lord. Hallelujah. Who will preach and can preach the gospel. Amen. And that's what we need in this day and time. Somebody that can rightly divide the word of truth. Everybody's not preaching the same thing. Have I got a witness here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank God. Um, but before Pastor Edmonds come, amen, the praise team of Bethlehem will give us a selection in the next voice you was here will be none other than Pastor Frederick M. Edmonds, Senior Pastor of the Bethlehem Church of God in Christ. Amen. 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 Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Oh, yes. Lord, you are good. Hallelujah. You've been better than good. I can praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can praise you enough, even if I tried, God, you've been oh, yes, he has. so good, you've been so good, oh, you've been yes, he has. so good to me. Come on, help me say, Lord. Lord, you are good. You've been. been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you. I owe you my life. I owe you my life. Can't praise you enough. Even if I.
If you know that God has been good to you come on if you know that God has really been good to you hallelujah hallelujah come on if God's been good to you give him praise in this place come on if he's been better than good to you open up your mouth and give him praise in this place Come on, if he's been better than good to you, open up your mouth, clap your hands, and give him praise in this place. Come on, if you know you'd be nothing without him, open up your mouth, clap your holy hands, and give him praise in this place. For if it had not been for the Lord, who was on my side, I would be dead right now. But thanks be unto the God of my salvation, I'm still alive to tell the story. Come on, I dare somebody to give them praise for your life. Because millions didn't make it. But thank God you were one of the ones who did. Come on, I dare you to give them I, I made it praise. Come on, give them a I made it praise. I made it to the house of the Lord one more time. I made it. 
Come on. Come on. If you can't think of nothing else to be thankful for, your life is more than enough. The fact that you woke up this morning with breath in your body, blood running warm in your veins, is more than enough to give the Lord thanks for. I'm going to give you five seconds to give him a thankful praise in this place. If I can't thank him for nothing else, I thank him for my life. Thank him for my life. And we magnify the name of the Lord. And we magnify the name of the Lord. And we magnify the name of the Lord. Clap your hands for Jesus. Oh, we thank him and we praise him. And while you're standing and while you're clapping, can you clap for the shepherd of this house? Your pastor. My uncle. Pastor Bruce Hughes, hey, y'all can do better than that for your leader. Great man of God, and if you could clap for the woman who stands next to him, working diligently along his side. Amen. They say behind every great man, but I say beside every great man stands a great woman. And with the right woman, you can go a long way. So we thank God for your pastor and your first lady. Clap your hands one more time. And you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. What a joy it is to be with you all this Wednesday evening. I was excited to come uh, because I believe something special always happens when we come together. So I'm expecting to see something special on tonight. I decree and declare miracles, signs, and wonders in this place and if you got enough faith to match mine then i believe that we can see it tonight do you believe it amen amen i honor everybody in the house tonight i honor all the clergy i honor amen the mc tonight elder davis who's done a phenomenal job my friend and brother great man of god i honor all the men who serve next to me at bethlehem church of god in christ amen i thank god for Elder Sims, Elder Harvey, and Elder Hogger, who work diligently next to me at the ministry. Amen. I tell you, when you're surrounded by the right people, you can get a lot of work done. The Bible says the, in Nehemiah, the people had a mind to work. So when you've got a lot of people who got the same mind, you can get a lot done. So I thank God for those men. Amen. I thank God for our district missionary, district missionary Linda Johnson. Amen. Praise God. I was overjoyed to see her coming to the building. That's right. Y'all can give her a standing applause. We thank God. We thank God for her and all that she adds to the ministry. Amen. She's truly a powerful woman of God who has been laboring for a long time. And I believe that God is not through with her yet. So we thank God for what we have not seen and what we will see come from the fruits of her labor praise God I honor everybody in their respective places and last and certainly not least I do want to honor this lovely woman of God praise God amen my rib my good thing amen the sugar in my coffee amen the one that puts a smile on my face every day I called her my caramel drop last Sunday. Amen. That's my sweet thing. <laughs> and I'm truly grateful for her. She's truly a jewel in my crown. And I honor the God that rests within her. I thank God for everything that she is to me and everything that she adds to me. I love you and I'm proud of you. My first lady, First Lady Paige Edmonds. Amen. 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 I won't keep you long tonight. I do believe that there is a word from the Lord. If you help me preach a little bit, I can get you out a little sooner than normal. Amen. You can find me in the gospel according to Mark, the 14th chapter. 
beginning at the third verse, and we'll journey on down to the ninth verse. Mark, the 14th chapter, verses 3 through 9. And if you could stand in reverence for the reading of the Word of God when you have it. Mark 14, verses 3 through 9, and the text reads in this manner. And beginning in Bethany, the house of Simon the leper, as he said at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard, very precious. And she broke the box and poured it on his head, and there were some that had indignation within themselves and said, Why was this waste of the ointment made? For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence and have been given to the poor. And they murmured against her. And Jesus said, let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She has wrought a good work on me, for ye have the poor with you always. And whenever ye will, ye may do them good, but me ye have not always. She hath done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body to the burying. Verily I say unto you, whosoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she had done shall be spoken of for a memorial unto her. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm anointed to carry this. I'm anointed to carry this. Amen. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord. By the power of grace divine, let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and my will be lost in thine. Hide me now behind your cross. Let not a stitch of flesh take the testimony that will take place here tonight. We glory in your presence right now, God, asking that you would have your way amongst these, your people. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus the Christ, I pray everybody shout amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm anointed to carry this. My father always went out of his way uh, to teach my brother and I how to be men. Something that's lacking a little bit in this day and age. That meant my mother and my sister didn't take the trash out of the house. Uh, they didn't know what it was like to push a lawnmower in the hot sun. My sister didn't know what it was like to have to crawl up under the house with daddy to check and make sure everything was all right. They didn't know what it was like to have to pump gas and put air in tires. When we would get home from the grocery store, it was my brother and I who would carry the groceries into the house. It was me and my brother who were standing outside holding a flashlight at night so daddy could see what he was doing while he was working on the car. The Bible says, train up a child in the way they should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The lessons may seem small, they may seem insignificant, they may seem minute in a way, but there is a couple folk that understand that my father was just training up his sons in the way they should go. He was teaching us how to be responsible, teaching us how to be strong, teaching us how to be men. More sons in this day and age need to receive this type of training. And because my father taught me these things, I now find myself teaching my own son these things. Because he trained me up in the way I should go, I now strive to train up my children in the way they should go. So they help me to take out the trash. They help me to change tires. They carry the groceries into the house. So whenever my family and I return to our home from grocery shopping, I tell my wife and I tell Adele to go inside the house because I keep my two boys with me to make sure that each of them have something to carry inside. And I know they're still small. I know they're still young boys, so I never give them anything that's too heavy for them. But, but I want them to see and know how to treat their families when they have to carry the responsibility on their own someday. So one day I can recall we had gotten home from grocery shopping and I told my wife to carry Adele into the house as normal and I kept my boys with me and I started to give them their share of the shopping bags to take inside and, and we had picked up one of those six-pack uh, rolls of paper towels 
Uh huh. You know the ones I'm talking about. And I looked at my oldest son and I said to him, I want you to carry this into the house. And, and while you and I know that paper towels are not that heavy, they are a light item to carry. At the time, this package was nearly the same size as him. <laughs> so even though I knew it wasn't too much for him to handle in his eyes, it was too big for him to carry. So he looks up at me and he says, Daddy, that's too big for me. I look down at my son and I say to him, son, I know it looks big, but I'm giving it to you because I know you're strong enough to carry it. And I've come to remind somebody this Wednesday evening that your situation may look enormous, but you're strong enough to carry it. Your assignment looks heavy, but God has given you the strength that it will take to carry it in this season. You are anointed to carry what God has given you. And I don't know who needs to hear it tonight, but your willingness to carry what you've been given in this season is pivotal to what happens in your next season. And I need you to hear me. Too much depends on this for you to turn around now. And too much depends on this for you to lose faith now. Too much depends on this for you to give up now. It may look impossible, but the Bible says that with God all things shall be made possible. I, I know it's hard, but the Bible says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I know it feels like more than you can bear, but the Bible says in all these things we are more than conquerors. So be not weary in your well-doing because in due season you shall reap the harvest if you faint not. Don't worry about what it looks like. Don't worry about what people are saying about you. Don't worry about how your situation feels right now because you were anointed to carry this thing. I need you to hear me tonight, my son. Didn't think he could carry what I had given him because he said it looked bigger than him. And I can confirm at the time that his observation was right when he said what he was given to carry was bigger than him. But that's because what I gave him, him me, was meant to serve more than just himself. And I don't know who I'm preaching to tonight, but what you are required to carry in this season of your life feels bigger than you because the reality is it really is bigger than you. God is not only going to bless you, but he's going to use what you got to be a blessing to others. God is not only going to bless you in this season, but he's going to use what you got to bless the generations that follow you. He's going to use what you got to bless your children and, and their children and, and your great grandchildren. God is going to use what you're carrying in this season to bless somebody outside of yourself. This assignment is more than just about you. It's about the others that are depending on you not to give up and throw in the towel. It's about the others that are depending on you to get the job done. It's about the others that are depending on you to follow through with this thing. Too much depends on what you're carrying yeah. in this season. Come on, look at somebody and say, I'm anointed to carry this. I'm anointed. I'm anointed to carry this. And here we have a woman carrying what others don't understand. We find Jesus and his disciples in Bethany two days after before Passover eating together at the house of Simon the leper. And while they are together eating this meal, a woman comes to Jesus carrying an alabaster box of spikenard oil. And she proceeds to break open this box and she begins to pour this oil on the head of Jesus. This woman, unbeknownst to herself, has poured out what could very well be considered her most valuable possession which is ironic hear me as Jesus himself prepares to pour out his blood for his most valuable possession and what's interesting here is they would both choose to submit themselves to the will of God only to be judged for doing so they would choose to perform the assignments they've been given just to find themselves attacked 
for their attention to assignment. And we all know what it feels like to try and do what the Lord called us to do. We know what it feels like to try and complete the work that we know God has given us. And people that understand your assignment, people that don't understand your assignment are the least, are the ones that seem to have the most to say. And I found that it can prove to be somewhat of an uncomfortable season when submission to God's will looks more like sacrifice than success. When submission to God's will resembles ridicule more than recognition. When submission to God's will feels more like eviction than elevation. It can then in turn become somewhat of an uncomfortable season. A season of submission will not always feel good to us. But a season of submission does however prepare us hear me out my brothers and sisters because if we look at the text we see that when this woman submits to God's will and carries this oil to anoint Jesus she is unknowingly preparing his body for his burial and I submit to you my brothers and sisters that sometimes a season of submission is really a season of preparation it really is the time God uses to prepare you for what you are about to face and so the uncertainty that lies on the other side of acceptance makes a yes one of the hardest things that you'll ever have to give but the truth of the matter is the yes is what begins the preparation it's not that you're stuck it's not that you're stagnant it's not that you're not moving nowhere it's not that God is not at work in your life it's not that he's turned a deaf ear to your voice this is simply the time God is taking to prepare you for what you will have to endure in the next season of your life and I heard the Lord say as I was looking at the text hallelujah that the anointing to handle the load comes before you you actually had to carry the load the anointing to handle the load comes before you carry the load and if we look at the text we see that Jesus says that she has come beforehand to anoint my body for my burial uh -huh. this part of the shows us that we cannot look for anointing unless we're willing to accept the burial that comes along with it Ah, she prepared Jesus for what was to come when she carried this box of oil to anoint his body and her submission to God's will prepared him for what he would have to endure next if we only understood my brothers and sisters how our submission to God prepares us not only for where we're going but for what we will have to go through to get there so if I submit to him in this season my next season might hurt me but it won't faze me because submission has prepared me if I submit to him in this season my next season may afflict me but it won't affect me because submission has prepared me for what the enemy was going to throw at me that's how I can look the same folk in the face that talked about me behind my back with a smile that's how I can stand up tall at the life has knocked me down time and time again. That's how I can clap for the success of the same ones that prayed for my downfall. That's how I can love my enemies and that's how I can pray for them that despitefully use me and, and that's how I can bless them that curse me. That's how I can sit down at the same table as the enemies that are around me and be alright because he didn't just set me there but he himself has prepared the table in the presence of my enemies. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but God is going to prepare you for the season you're walking into through your willingness to say yes to him in this season. Open up your mouth and tell the Lord yes. Somebody, come on, somebody say yes, Lord. God is going to prepare you for the next season of your life through your ability to say yes to him in this season. God's getting you ready now for what is to come. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, my yes prepared me for this. My yes to his will prepared.
prepared me to be here. My yes to his way prepared me for this moment. If you, I wonder if there's anybody on this Wednesday night that can relate to what the songwriter said when he penned the lyric. I say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. Because a yes in this season is the only thing that will carry you through. Somebody open up your mouth and tell the Lord yes. Your submission to God's will is the only thing that can get you where you need to go. Hallelujah. Not my will, but your will be done. Y'all can sit down. You're making me nervous. Not my will, but your will be done should be your testimony in this season. Not my way, Lord, but your way. Not what I want to do, but what you want me to do. Not my desire, but your desire for my life is what I want in this season. And I wonder how many people are willing to say yes to the Lord tonight in spite of what you have to face along the way are you willing to say yes to the Lord in spite of what the enemy throws at you are you willing to say yes to the Lord in spite of how unfit or unqualified you feel like you are are you willing to say yes to the Lord I say yes to the Lord it won't be easy but I'll say yes to the Lord Hallelujah. I know it'll be hard, but I'll say yes to the Lord. The mountain gonna be rough, but I'll say yes to the Lord. There'll be difficult days, but I'll say yes to the Lord. May not understand, but I'll say yes to the Lord. I wish somebody would open their mouth and say yes to the Lord. Come on, I say yes. Lord, yes, because if Jesus could say yes to the cross for me, then I could say yes to living for him. I double dog this, somebody shout yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'm not sure, but yes, Lord. I don't feel good, but yes, Lord. I don't see a way, but yes, Lord. I don't understand, but yes, Lord. Yes to your will and yes to your way. Yes, I'll obey. Yes, in the morning. Yes, in the evening. I wish I could let it go. Yes, all night long. I say yes to you, God. When my family don't understand, I say yes to you, Lord. When trouble's around me, I say yes to you, Lord. When I feel like I'm going out of my mind, I wish I could let it go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All I want for the Lord is to receive my yes in this season. All I want is to live in the will of God in this season. All I want, hallelujah, is to be in right standing with the Lord in this season. That's why I tell him yes. Yes, Lord, I want to be in his will because I heard that the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. Do I got to witness out? there this Wednesday evening here we go I got to leave you now I got to get out of here but a yes can be one of the most uncomfortable things that you'll ever have to give the Lord because a yes to the Lord means that you've given him freedom to do how he sees fit in your life a yes to the Lord means that I'm going to step back and let God do what he want to do a yes to the Lord means that I'm going to take my hands off of this thing and let God have his way in my life. Somebody shout yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That means that he can bless you how he wants to bless you. That he can open the doors that he want to open for you. That he can make the ways that he want to make for you. Catch this whether you're ready for it or not. Yes Lord. And if you're used to living beneath your privilege it can then be uncomfortable to experience the benefit of saying yes to God. And the Lord sent me to tell somebody tonight to get ready to be uncomfortable. 
Because the season of your yes is carrying you into will require you to do things you've never done before. This season God is carrying you into will require you to help to write checks you never thought you had to write. The season God is carrying you into will require you to sit in meetings you thought you'd never have access to. The season God is carrying you into will require you to do things you never thought you'd have to do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I don't know who I'm preaching to, but God is calling you out of the comfort of complacency into a season of uncomfortable growth. God is calling you out of the comfort of good enough into a season of more than enough. I wish I had a witness in here tonight and you may ask why is it uncomfortable? And the simple answer my brothers and sisters is because you're not used to it. It's uncomfortable because it don't make sense. It's uncomfortable because you never experienced it. And God's getting ready to increase you in ways that you never imagined. How do I know? Because eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Nor has it entered into the heart and mind of man what God has prepared. I wish somebody would shout, I ain't seen it yet, but I know it's on the way. I ain't seen it yet, but I I know God's getting ready to do something amazing in my life. I ain't seen it yet, but I know God's getting ready to open a door that I've been praying for. I ain't seen it yet, but I know God's getting ready to save my children. I ain't seen it yet, but I know God's getting ready to open the windows of heaven and pull me out of blessing that I have not room to receive. Open up your mouth and give God glory for what you ain't seen yet but you know is on the way you ought to clap them hands like the devils in between them and give God praise for what you're expecting come on open up your mouth and give God glory Open up your mouth and give God glory. I decree and declare that God's getting ready to grow you beyond your expectation. I decree and declare that God's getting ready to do more than you ever expected. And this is the night that I decree and declare uncomfortable increase in your life. I decree and declare uncomfortable favor over your life. I decree and declare uncomfortable growth in this season. You'll have too much of it to keep to yourself. You'll have too much of it not to be a blessing. You'll have too much of it not to give some of it away. Rub somebody on your road and say, let me get some of what you got. Let me get some of what you got. You got too much of it to hold it to yourself. God said, I'm getting ready to do above and beyond everything you ever expected. How do I know? How do I know? How do I know? Because God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think. You ain't thought it yet, but God's going to do it. You ain't think of it yet, but God's going to do it. And cross your mind yet, but God's going to do it. Open up your mouth and say, Lord, do it for me. Lord, do it for me. Lord, do it for me. Now give God glory for what he's getting ready to do in your life. Shout it is. Shout it is. Shout it is.
Come on, does anybody in here got faith to believe that God is able to do exactly what he said he would do? That God is not like a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. If God said it, then he's got to do it. If he spoke it, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it must come to pass. It must come to pass 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 it's got to happen shout yes shout yes shout yes yes lord yes lord i wish i had a voice tonight yes lord i decree and declare that deliverance will be your portion i decree and declare for what you poured out breakthrough will be your portion I decree and declare for what you poured out joy will be your portion I decree and declare for what you poured out happiness will be your portion I decree and declare for what you poured out prosperity will be your portion open up your mouth and say Lord I don't mind pouring out my Lord, I don't mind pouring out my oil. Lord, I don't mind pouring out my worship. Lord, I don't mind pouring out my praise. You want to clap them hands like the devils in between them and pour out your oil for the Lord to seek. Pour out your oil. Yes, Lord. Pour out your oil. Pour out your oil. Pour out your oil. Shout it is. Shout it is. Shout it is. Yes. Yes, Lord. And for everything you poured out. Yes, Lord, your testimony will be. I don't know how he did it. I don't know when he did it. I'm just glad that he did it. Somehow, I'm just glad he made a way. Somehow, I'm just glad he delivered me. Somehow, I'm just glad he pulled me out of it. Somehow, I'm just glad he got my breakthrough somehow you ought to give him a somehow praise I don't know how I don't know when I'm just glad that he did it somehow somehow he did it somehow he made a way somehow in fact the money was in my account somehow I'm still here to tell the story I should have been dead but somehow I'm still alive Open up your mouth and say, I thank you, Lord, for the somehow. Well, I kind of get out of here. I kind of leave you now. But Jesus says, this woman has anointed his body for his burial. It was Jewish custom to anoint the bodies of their dead. They called this process purification. And during this process, they would anoint the body of the dead with ointments and oil to assist in preservation. The obvious qualification to go through this process is that one must of course be dead. I then began to wonder why this woman came to anoint the body of Jesus before his burial if he had not yet died. Yes, Lord. Stay right there. I'm coming for you. I began to wonder what prompted her to begin the burial process if he yet remained among the living. Why did she anoint him if he wasn't dead yet? Why did 
did she anoint him if he had breath in his body? Why did she anoint him if his blood was still running warm in his veins? Well, my brothers and sisters, I would say that it's safe to assume that when one is dead, you expect them after they have been pronounced to remain dead. I would suggest that once you are in need of these burial rites, you are then in what would be called your final disposition. I'm coming for you. My brothers and sisters, may I suggest to you that this woman doesn't wait to anoint him until after he's dead because that would not be his final disposition. She chooses to anoint him before his burial because that's not how he would end up. And she chooses to anoint him rather while he yet lives because alive will be his final disposition. She couldn't anoint him while he was dead because he wouldn't stay dead. So when Mary and the other women got to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus they were coming to anoint him in the wrong disposition I wish I had a witness in this place because he had already been anointed for how he would end up how was he going to end up alive with all power in his hands somebody shall glory somebody shall glory somebody shall glory I come to tell somebody that you're approaching your stuff in the wrong disposition you're looking for it to be dead when God says why have you come looking for the living among the dead you got a lot of living stuff that you don't bury out in the graveyard I challenge you to go out there and dig up that living stuff speak life to your dry bones and say Lord I wanted to live Lord I speak life Lord there's some life left there open up your mouth and say you shall live and not die you shall live and not die you shall live and not die somebody shall glory somebody shall glory somebody shall glory yes yes Lord I come to tell somebody that you've been anointed to live you've been anointed to prosper you've been anointed to overcome you've been anointed to keep on pressing you've been anointed to not quit grab your neighbor by the hand I said grab your neighbor by the hand shake him and rock him rock him and shake him shake him and rock him rock him and shake him shake him and rock him rock him and shake him and say oh neighbor I know what it looks like but you're anointed to carry this I know what it feels like but you're anointed to carry this I know what they said about you but you're anointed to carry this I know how your body feels but you're anointed to carry this I know you're going crazy but you're anointed to carry this open up your mouth and say I'm anointed not a devil in hell can stop you because you're anointed to carry the thing yes lord every plan of the enemy has been foiled because you're anointed to carry this thing i wish you just go like this pour the oil on yourself and every time you pour that's another level of anointing every time you pour that's more power every time you pour that's more strength every time you pour that's more joy every time you pour that's
a small increase. Don't stop pouring until you feel a shift in your family. Don't stop pouring until you feel a shift in your body. I see the winds of change flowing on your life right now. Somebody shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Yes, Lord. Pour some oil on me. Pour some oil on me. Anoint me afresh. Pour some oil on me. Pour your oil on me. It's the only way I can carry this thing. Is if you pour your oil. I dare somebody to give God glory for the oil. Come on, open up your mouth and say, Lord, anoint me afresh. Pour your oil on me. Pour your oil on me. Pour your oil on me. I need your anointing. I need your power. I need you, God, more than I ever have before in my life. If God don't do it, it won't get done. Open up your mouth. Give God glory for the oil he's pouring out on his people yes lord and he shall pour out his spirit upon all living flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy yes lord say lord i'm ready for a fresh pour lord i'm ready for a fresh pour lord I'm ready for fresh anointing. Lord, I'm ready for fresh oil. Clap your hands like the devils in between them and give God glory for the fresh oil. We thank God for fresh oil. Fresh anointing. Why do we need the anointing? Because the Bible declares that the anointing is what destroys the yoke. And some of us are shackled. Because we won't allow God to pour the oil in our life. But I dare somebody to open up your mouth, decree and declare over yourself, God, I'm going to let you pour your oil in my life. Pour it until it overflows. And when it overflows, let it rub off on my family. When it overflows, let it rub off on my relationships. When it overflows, let it rub off on my job. Let it rub off on my coworkers. Let it rub off on my bank account. Let that oil flow to every area in my life. Come on, somebody shout, thank you, Lord, for the oil. <laughs> Father God, we come before you now. With grateful hearts. Because we know that your anointing has the power to destroy every yoke in our life. So I thank you now for freedom, God. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Thank you, Lord, for what you're getting ready to do with the lives of these, your people. I decree and declare that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what you're getting ready to do in the lives of your people. I bind every attack of the devil. I cast the enemy out of the mind of his people. And I speak peace and serenity to these your people. Joy and strength to these your people. And we decree and declare that it is so. 
in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Everybody shout amen and give them praise now for the fresh anointing. Come on, give them praise now for a fresh anointing. Give them praise now for a fresh anointing. If you need prayer tonight, the altar is open. If you don't know the Lord for yourself, the altar is open. If you need anything from God, I believe that God can give it to you tonight where you are. And if you don't know the Lord for yourself, I encourage you to get to know him tonight. Because I tell everybody, you can leave this place and you don't know what's going to happen beyond those doors. But now is the time to get it right. Amen. Pastor, can you anoint them? That destroys every young. We need the oil. oil I feel the presence of God in this place. We need oil. We thank God for fresh anointing. 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 And I hear another level of God. Fresh anointing. That was for you tonight. See God lifting you up higher than where you are now. Elevation is in your future. Why? Because you said yes to him. God says your yes will open doors that you've been praying for. Your yes to him is getting ready to open the doors that you've been praying for. Your yes to him is swinging the doors open right now. And everything the enemy tried to discourage you to make you see, make you feel like he wasn't listening. God says, I've heard you because of your yes to me. And this is your season to receive everything that you've asked me for. This is your season to receive everything that you've asked me for. And it was your yes that did it. Father God, I ask that you would prepare her now for what you're getting ready to do with her life. That you would prepare her for the doors that you're getting ready to open because they're big doors. I hear God, big doors. Big opportunity. In the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare that she will not fumble the opportunity. But you have prepared her for such a time as this. And it is so. Let in the name of Jesus, this place, we, we need need thank you. Glory, glory Father God, we thank you for this Show man of God who carries an anointing that's higher than he knows. Glory God says, Show I'm not through with glory. you. And I believe that he's pouring his strength into your body glory even now as we speak. Yes, Lord. The woman with the issue of blood, all she had to do was touch the hem of his garment. God says, you're so in tune with me that he felt the virtue leave him and go into you. Because of your press into his presence, because you press your way in spite of how you feel, because you press your way in spite of what you got going on in your mind, God says, 
I'm not going to leave you the way you came. But you're going to leave whole, healed, and delivered. In the name of Jesus, I speak strength to this body. In the name of Jesus, I command the enemy to take his hands off of this body. In the name of Jesus, 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 be healed, be delivered, be set free. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over his mind. I plead the blood of Jesus over his body. I plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus, cover him right now from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. The blood of Jesus, 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 the blood heal, the blood deliver, the blood set free, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood still works, the blood still heals. And it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley I know the blood still works yes Lord be healed be delivered in the name of Jesus and it is so 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 your testimony will be the devil lost again the devil lost again the devil lost again the devil lost again he tried it but he lost again he thought he won but he lost again we decree and declare victory over your body we decree and declare victory over your mind and it is so and it is so and it is so open up your mouth and shout it is so come on give God glory 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 I bind every worry in your life God says you can cast your cares upon me for I care for you hand it over to God and watch him turn that thing around I hear God saying yes Lord that your testimony will be in this season every time I turn around God's making a way every time I turn around God's delivering me every time I turn around God's doing it for me yes Lord and if you can give a praise right now for what you're looking for him to turn around in your life God says you'll see him do it before you realize it yes Lord and we thank him and we praise him yes Lord for the turnaround taking place in your life we decree and we declare that it is so it is so it is so in the name of Jesus 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 fresh anointing fresh oil fresh anointing fresh oil fresh anointing fresh oil fresh anointing fresh anointing fresh oil in the name of Jesus open up your mouth and shout it is so I hear God. We bind every naysayer in your life. We bind the devil that will speak to your mind and tell you that you are inadequate. Tell you that you're not ready. But God says, I have prepared you. The word is, I have prepared you. I am that I am. 
Lamb has prepared you. The Alpha and the Omega has prepared you. The Lord and the Lord has prepared you. The King of Kings has prepared you for such a time as this. And all you got to do is give him your yes and watch God remove every snake out of your life. Watch God remove every illness out of your body. Watch God remove every doubt out of your mind. I hear God saying, this is a watch me do it kind of season in your life. Watch him do it. Watch him deliver you. Watch him make the way. Watch him open the door. Watch him promote you. Yes, Lord. Doesn't matter what they say. If God be for you, he's more than the world against you. Yes, Lord. So we decree and declare that nothing will stand in the way of what God is getting ready to do in your life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We remove every blockade in your life. We cancel every attack of the enemy in your life. And we decree and declare freedom to operate the way he wants you to. Freedom to maneuver the way he wants you to. Freedom to operate how he called you to. Yes, and your yes will make room for what God God's getting ready to do in your life shout yes shout yes shout yes open up your mouth and shout it is so I speak strength to this body in the name of Jesus. I bind every illness in this body. I bind every ache, every pain in this body. And I speak strength to your body. I speak power to your body. Yes, Lord. I hear God saying, yes, Lord. You've done enough. Let me carry you from here. You've done enough. Let me take over from here you've done enough let me make the way from here and for your faithfulness it's your time 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 you've been faithful to your family you've been faithful to the ministry You've been faithful oh, to everybody And for your faithfulness and, and for your faithfulness And, and for your faithfulness oh, It's your time your To time. sit back And watch God Make a way oh, Out of no way God said I got it from here You don't have to worry I got it from here You don't have to fret I got it from here and we decree and declare that it is so it is so it is so open up your mouth and shut it is so I plead the blood in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood in the name of Jesus. I hear God saying, you're my strong man. I've got a use for you. I need your strength. Yes, Lord, that what is getting ready to use you for will require you to lean on his strength. Lean not onto your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all of your ways yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord God says what I'm doing in your life you may not understand right now yes Lord but you'll understand it better by 
and fire. God's getting ready to blow your mind with what it's going to do in your life. And all you got to do is remain strong. Remain strong. God says, cast your cares upon me for I care for you. I've got you cradled in the palm of my hand. I won't let you fall. I won't let you fail. I won't let you go. I've got you in the palm of my hand. And as long as you learn how to lean on me. Yes. Lean on me. Lean on me. And watch me lift you up. Lean on me. I won't let you fail. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. How do I know? Because when my mother and my father forsake me, the Lord shall lift you up. God says, I'm lifting you. I'm lifting you. I'm lifting you. I'm lifting you. And as I lift you, you ought to lift your hands and give him glory for every weight that he's lifting off of your shoulder. I see the weights falling off of you. I see the heaviness falling off of you. Be free. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. And it is so. 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 Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Open up your mouth and shout glory. 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 I feel the glory of God. Open up your mouth and shout glory. Glory, 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 glory. Come on. And God says that's what you're going to need in this next phase of your life. A willingness to praise Him in spite of what things look like. A willingness to worship Him in spite of how you feel. God says your yes and your willingness in spite of your surroundings. God says it's going to make a way for you. I see God. Yes, Lord. Pens and keys in your hand. I see God putting keys in your hand. I see God putting keys in your hand. And all you got to do is take the next step into the right direction. Yes, Lord. I hear God saying, we walk by faith and not by sight. I know what it looks like, but keep on walking. I know what it feels like, but keep on walking. I know what you're thinking, but keep on walking. Open up your mouth and say, Lord, I trust you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I'm expecting my blessing any day now. Open up your mouth and give God glory. Open up your mouth and give God glory. Open up your mouth and give God glory. Open up your mouth and shout glory for what God is getting ready to do in his life. You want to clap them hands like the devils in between them because God's getting ready to blow his mind. And if you can praise him for his blessing, you'll see God do something wonderful in your life. If you can give God glory for what he's getting ready to do with his life it'll overflow into your life and you can give God glory for what he's doing in his life it'll trickle down into your life somebody shout yeah. oh it is so it is so 
shout it is so it is so we decree and declare oh jesus come on i need my preachers down here come on come on preachers come on come on Surround the man of God. Surround the man of God. Come on. Come on, everybody erupt into a praise in this place. Oh, Come on, open your mouth and give God glory. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and give God in glory. The name of Jesus. Open your mouth and give God yeah. glory. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and give God oh, glory. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and give God hallelujah. glory. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and give hallelujah. God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and give hallelujah, God glory. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and give hallelujah, God glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I speak to this body. I pat the devil in the yeah, name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I catch a living attack to this body in the name of Jesus. I speak strength and wellness in the name of Jesus. Strength right now 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 in the name of Jesus. Hear God saying, the devil is attacking your body because he sees what God's getting ready to do in your life. He sees the doors God's getting ready to open in your family. Yes, Lord. He's treating you like Job. Yes, Lord. God said you can afflict them, but you can't kill them. You got to live to see it happen. You got to live to see it happen. You got to live to see it happen. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. I hear God say, your deliverance is on the way. Your deliverance is on the way. Your deliverance is on the way. And we decree and we declare that it is so, so open up your yeah. mouth and shout glory. Glory, glory. glory Come on, glory. open up your mouth yeah. and shout glory. Oh, it is so, it is so, it is so, it is so, it is so. Glory. Glory, glory. Come on, I wish somebody would catch that for themselves. You gotta live to see it happen. Yes, Lord. David said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the light of the living. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what the devil told you, but you got to live to see it happen. Neighbor, I don't know what the enemy said, but you got to live to see it happen. Neighbor, I don't know what the doctor said, but you got to live to see it happen. I dare you to give God a living praise because you got no choice but to live. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. Open up your mouth and give God a living praise. Live, 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 live. Live. Say that I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I command you to live. I command you to live. I dare somebody that got a little bit of faith to lay your hand on your body and say, I command you to live. I command you to live. I command you to live. You can speak to your body because life, the power of life and death lies within your tongue. I command you to live. I command you to live. I command you to live. You shall live and not die. I command you to live. 
You got the power. It's in your mouth. Open up your mouth and say, I command you to live. Command you to live. And why do you got to live? Because you're anointed to carry what God has given you with this season. You cannot die until you complete your assignment. You shall live and not die. Because I'm anointed to carry this. Somebody shout, I'm anointed to carry this. Give God glory for your life. Give God glory because you got to live to see it happen. You got to live to see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. Somebody shout live, 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 live. 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 You're going to live to see it happen. 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 Live, 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 live. 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 Come on. You're going to live to see it happen. 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 Live, 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 live. 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 Come on, you ought to give God glory because you got to live to see it happen. Could tell you is remind me of a wrestler by the name of Ric Flair, and he would say, Woo! He would say, Woo! Now that's how you start an anniversary. There you go, mother. You gotta be a Ric Flair. Woo! Yes! Live! Yes! Yes! We got to live, mother, to see it happen. Yes! Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Yes!
Now that's how you start off an anniversary. All I'm going to tell you, Pastor, it's me and you tonight. On Friday night, I don't know what Minister Kennedy and Superintendent Kelsey Little going to do, but I know what we did tonight. I know what we did tonight. I know what we did tonight. It was some oil pulled out tonight. It's some living here tonight. But all we're going to do is we're going to take heed to the word of God on tonight. Pastor, I receive that word. Amen. But I'm going to turn it over to our pastor so he can follow the service. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. What a powerful word. Amen. Come from God's manservant, Pastor Edmonds. Amen. From the Bethlehem Church of God in Christ. One more time. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. The message, amen, for me on tonight, amen. I know we're in the church anniversary, amen, but that message was a past anniversary, amen, for me to inspire me, to encourage me, amen, saying yes to the Lord, amen. There's challenges come with taking the, saying the word yes, but nevertheless, we're saying yes to God. And in some way, somehow the Lord can provide for us, some way, somehow he's going to do it. And he said, you're going to live to see it. Somebody shout Glory. If the message for you, come on, shout glory. glory. Tell your neighbor the message is mine. So we thank God, amen. The Lord has been moving, amen, even on Sunday night. Amen. First Lady Edmonds, amen. Preacher dynamic message, amen. So excited what the Lord is doing in our lives, amen. We come to honor the man of God that he has blessed us, amen. The word that would inspire us and encourage us to continue to go forward in the Lord, amen. It's right for us to bless him with our gift of love on this evening on tonight, amen. We're asking those who can be able to share, amen, a seed or $20 on tonight. Amen. And give as the Lord has prospered you to give. Amen. You can give through our Giblify application. You also can give. Amen. With the card machine as well as Dick and Dalton Gregory. Amen. Have an offering vessel to give on tonight. Amen. I'm sharing $100 I've already given through Giblify. Amen. As we stand out of the building. Amen. I'm excited. I'll tell you, I'm going to stay in check. I know we can move forward. Amen. When the message comes like that, amen, it's time to get a benediction. We want you to go home and shout and praise God. Amen. Some of you might not have caught it, the message. Amen. But why are you driving home? Your hand's going to go up and say, hallelujah. God, that was for me. Glory to your name. Father God, in the name of Jesus, again, we thank you for your love and kindness and for your tender mercy, for your grace. God, we thank you for the message coming from your man servant, God. That we be a blessing to him as he poured out to us, oh God. We pray that you will continue to strengthen his body. Continue to give him the strength, God, to minister the needs of thy people, O oh God. You bless him with the anointing of God to preach the gospel. But we pray for his body that you would strengthen him the more, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, meet every need on tonight as we bless him financially, God. Open doors and make ways for him, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen.
band calling for Dr. O's for the announcement. Amen. Amen. You told me to tell you that it's going to be all right. Thank you, Jesus. Aren't you glad you came tonight? I told you. Didn't I tell you? Lord, have mercy. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place even right now. Everybody should go home healed tonight. Hallelujah. Delivered. Hallelujah to God. Lifted. Hallelujah. It ought to be a change with all this Jesus in here tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to ask St. Stephen if we will all stand and give the Bethlehem Church of God in Christ. God bless you for coming here tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Edmonds, we thoroughly enjoyed the word tonight. I wasn't expecting nothing less. I was waiting. I was waiting. Listen, now if you do the same thing tomorrow night, St. Stephen, service starts at 7. Not walking in the door at 7, but starts at 7. Auxiliary is going to be here. Our choir is going to be here. We have speakers and we're going to come in and let the Lord continue to bless us. And then when we come back on Friday night, the same thing. Service starts at 7. And I believe when you start on time, hallelujah to God. Sometimes when you come in here, you got to get your breath. You got to find out what you got to do. You're huffing and puffing. But when you come on time. Hallelujah to God. You said God's service started at 7. The Spirit of the Lord is right here waiting. Hallelujah. And I bless him tonight. Thank God for Jesus' service back in hands of our presider tonight. Amen, amen. What a wonderful time we have endured so far. At this time, we're calling for Elder Harvey to give us our benediction. Amen, amen. Come on and say amen. I don't know about y'all, but I feel good. I feel good. Ain't nothing like it when you get the real stuff. It makes a big difference, don't it? Come on, let us stand. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you for this service, Lord. And Lord, as we go now to our several homes, oh God, God, we ask that you will give us traveling mercy and grace, Lord. Oh God, bind the enemy, oh God. Touch us, oh God, while we go into home, Lord. And we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In our name, Lord. Make us one. Amen.